Welcome to SWE Fury, Lynn Denton, we're back. We're back, buddy, glad to be back too, man. I tell you what, the wrestlers, the fans, they've all wanted to get back into action and we have to be safe in doing that. Of course, COVID-19 has caused a lot of things to shut down. We haven't been able to have these live events for quite some time and that's for the safety of our fans as well as our wrestlers. But with recent developments, we've been able to open up at a very, very limited capacity, having only a small number of fans around the ring, masked up, social distancing, and of course our wrestlers in the ring ready to get back in there and fight Lynn Denton. Speaking of wrestlers, what a lineup. Buddy, they are ready man they're chomping at the bits they're ready to go and you know we have rumors of a brand new general manager coming to SWE Fury. General manager who the heck could be the new general manager? James Beard has had his hands full here he's got a lot of things on his plate. And you know you know something I know a lot about James Beard he knows a lots of people all over the country matter of fact all over the world in professional wrestling. Who will he bring in rumors are flying we'll find out a little bit later on in the show but first returning to SWE Fury I believe she's after some gold. Thunder Rosa is back. Thunder Rosa, world heavyweight champion, huh? Yep. She's ready to go, man. I can't wait to see that match. We'll see her in action tonight against Miranda Gordy right here. SWE Fury is back. even though we're kind of doing it in a limited capacity right now. I'll tell you one thing, brother. I'm just like you, as our college wrestlers, all these fans. I am so proud. Wrestlers back and going, going strong. These guys are ready to go tonight and prove these people they miss it too. Cameron Cole, Will Alday in the ring now. And uh, we have Cameron Cole coming from Santa Monica, California, and uh, not making too many friends here in Texas. As he made his way to the ring, seeing some great wrestling action all across Texas. These guys here from the Houston area have done some uh, wrestling down with Booker T's Revolution of Wrestling. I got you. You can tell a little bit of Booker T. You see it in them there. They both of them have got a little bit of amateur style in their background. You know, good wrestlers. They're like tough guys, you know. Be the one who can go a long way in this business. That's right. As we see a headbutt from Cam Cole now. But you notice all of them seem to always still try to come here to SWE Fury, brother. They know where that's where the top talent is. That's exactly right. Top talent all the way up and down the roster. <laughs> that's a close line. Man, shot or tackle. Oh. All day, Will. Or Will all day. He's <laughs> up and over. Lance says a takedown. Oh, you got yourself some great athletes right here, my friend. Oh. 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 Our 
Corner swoop into the corner, up and over again. Big drop kick. And outside the ring goes. That drop kick yeah. kissed him right on the chin, buddy. That's right. Fast paced action here at SWE Fury. And uh, I feel even though we did point this out at the beginning of the night, that we should mention once again, you're seeing the limited crowd here. You're seeing the face coverings. You're seeing the emphasis on the health of the fans and the wrestlers, which is what we put first and foremost here at SWE Fury. Kidney shots, I'm gonna tell you. They'll take it out of you real quick, my friend. Look at here, he turns it around, and a oh. big shot! Plano, Texas, Studio 4 is where it's happening now. Studio Wrestling goes back, well, to the very early days of televised professional wrestling. I've done a lot of studio wrestling my lifetime. I'm telling you, get up at <laughs> either 8 o'clock in the morning and do two, two tapes, and brother, you got to be ready to go. Oh, oh, look at that corner post. That had to do some damage, that shoulder. That'll hurt all day. I'm telling you. All day. That yeah. Yeah, will all day. Yeah. And now I'm sad. Tell him I, brother. I told him that I hurt, boss. <laughs> all right, uh, all day in the corner with that little bit of shoulder pain going on right now. Tough as, on that shoulder. Yeah, Cole is up to the top. And what is he, is he vaping? Uh, he, took, he took time out to vape. Have you seen that before? I've seen that. I've never seen that in my life. That's new to me. Oh, DDT. Hey, something. I've been caught in that DDT many times, and that is one move that's hard to kick out of. That finish right there. It's all day, guys. Tough. He's a tough character. You can say all you want about that ring, but when you go into it head first with that DDT, you feel it all the way down your spine. First up, rope, back elbow. Cameron Cole is one tough cookie, buddy. I'm telling you. Absolutely, if he could just, uh, just stay focused on the match, he almost let that that vaping, yeah. that e-cig, one, there was a pin. He stopped taking smoke after the win, you know what I mean, yeah, not that, before. Yeah, that, that's the time to do that, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know, smoking, that's great. Smoking isn't really that good for athletes, but uh, somehow he gets away with it. He manages to get a pin in there anyway. Now he's schooling the referee uh, on how to count. Probably not a wise idea. And then somehow a little small crowd, just a little crowd like this, small crowd get going and get them wrestlers going. I love it. Yeah. Getting behind it, and uh, I guess you noticed, folks, up close and personal here in SWE Fury. Back elbows going up. Five over. minutes, five minutes have passed. Oh, fantastic move. It's pin one, two, and no! All day still going, kicking out after a count of only two. You suck, Cam. You suck. You suck. And if I was voting, I swear, Bob, if I was voting, I'd put these guys right against each other, head up. Nobody's really topped one or the other. They both got what it takes. They're both kicking butt. It's about even right now in the scorecards. Two great athletes in the ring. Oh, missed! Cameron Cole uh, missed that severely. Yes, he did. Going for that insecurity, misses. Attempt at a super kick, nope. And, oh, look at that oh, massive. What they close on? Good grief, laying those punches in. Off the ropes, Dutz, close line, big cross body. Will all day ready. Might have telegraphed a little bit there as he gets caught. Reversal now, off the ropes. Fine, Buster. Did you see that 
the knee, bouncing right off the face of Cam Cole. Cam Delaney kicked out of that view. Still manages to kick out. You know, I'm uh, excited later on tonight to find out who that new general manager is here at SWE Fury. I, I've heard rumors and oh, look at that. Oh, good grief, did you see it right on the ring apron? There's no give there. I'm telling you, they sent somebody to the hospital right there. And now oh, Will. One dangerous move. One. He's writhing in pain on the floor. He hurt himself almost more than he did Cameron Cole. Rolls him back into the ring. All day in, Cole out. Little help back in by the, by the hair. And I, I believe uh, the referee missed that there, Lynn Denton. Look at that little chop to the neck. He sure said good. There's a pin. One, two, and no. Oh, he kicked out of that turn. Cameron Cole cannot believe it. I'm going to tell you something, sir. I wrestled 32 years full time. I don't think I've used that many moves my whole career. <laughs> <laughs> there is a variety of moves being on display here. The knee of Will All Day hurt from what happened on the edge of the ring over here a moment ago. Get up, All Day. Cameron Cole calling for him to get up. What's he going to do? Oh, he's caught. Oh, he's caught in a fireman's carry. Oh, that, that knee, though. That knee gave out. Oh, and he goes right for it. Good grief. Chopping down like a big oak tree, right? Eh? They heard that clear in Fort Worth, Lynn. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, it just. <laughs> oh, big one, too. Super kick there. Lights out for Cameron Cole. No, he's, he's rolling around like he's going to get up here. What's he going to do? All day up high. Oh. And we go for a pin. One, two, three. And the winner. And the winner of this Valkyria pinfall. Will Alden. They got their money's worth in that match, Bob. They got their money's worth in. Will Alden triumphant in our first match here. SWE Fury, we are back. Back here with Thunder Rosa, a match. You already got a match on the card tonight up against Miranda Gordy Absolutely. a little bit later on. Why do you yeah. think I just came to like valet somebody? I could, of course I came to like wrestle and I'm gonna wrestle Ms. Gordy, you know, yeah. an up and comer. I don't, I, don't, I don't think she's ready for me today. Second generation though. In, I mean, yeah. you can send me a third, fourth, I don't care. Okay, all right. You know, she's, she's, like I said, she's a good up and comer, but I don't think she is ready for me. You really? Know? Nobody's like, ready for the Thunder. Uh, aha, yeah, I guess we're gonna head out to the ring and find out about that right now.
As the ladies get ready to square off in the ring, Lynn Denton, we are joined by the SWE World Champion. Yes, sir. SWE Heavyweight Champion Tim Storm is here with us. Lynn Denton, Tim Storm. We've got the great Thunder Rosa back here in SWE Fury. Hey, this, this, is, this is a rare thing for a lot of people to see. What you're seeing right now are two, well, one of the top women in the, in the wrestling business today and one of the top up and comers in the wrestling business today, obviously a third gener or, you know, second generation star. Thunder Rosa, the NWA Women's Champion, is absolutely the real deal. She will bring it and Miranda Gordy will, will give her everything she can back. That's right. In the ring, Thunder Rosa. With that Irish whip, Miranda Gordy is now on the mat as we go for a leg drop, and Miranda moves. Whoa. I like that. I don't know if the fans can hear that, people at home. She said, I'll show you second generation. She's fired up. She knows she's representing a legend in the wrestling business family, and she's going to show her. Well, thing about it, though, Tim, here's the deal. She might see that, but remember, Rosa got that world heavyweight title for a reason, my friend. So she better be careful. Listen, as, as you guys know, I was the former NWA World Champion. I've watched Rosa grow. I've seen her develop. I, you know, I, a lot of people know this, a lot of people don't. What she does in, for fun is she is an MMA fighter. She is a legit, real deal. And Miranda, obviously, is bringing everything she can. She's going to give her a fight. I've had a, a couple of ex-wives who could have done the same thing. I agree. <laughs> so I know where you're coming from, brother. Thunder Rosa is back in SWE, though, with her eye on one prize in particular. That is that women's title that's being held by Jazz right now. She told us earlier she's here for that. Good. Uh, that hurt me from here. That hurt me from here. And, and, and Jazz is another one that is absolutely the real deal. I've seen those two women oh, yeah. battle. It is, it is amazing. It's, it's fun to watch. Good grief. And those chops, not facing Miranda Gordy. She goes for a chop of her own there. Into the corner goes Thunder Rosa, and no, another chop, another one. Hey, she, Rosa, felt, Rosa felt those coming back. I am telling you, buddy, I know that hurt. You two men can attest to how those feel. It is bad. It stings, it hurts, and it wears you down. Miranda's fired up here, bringing, bringing the bad street. Miranda Gordy, second generation star, daughter of Terry Bam Bam Gordy, made her debut here in SWE Fury a while back. And on that same show, we saw Thunder Rosa try to win that women's title from Jazz. Ow! As she comes down on Miranda in the corner. A slightly different attitude from Thunder Rosa than when we first saw her here. She's back, she's thirsty for that title and willing to do whatever it takes to get that women's title off of Jazz. She has to go through the Bad Street Beauty to get it as a pin of only two. That's something I liked there. You saw her hook that off leg. Obviously showing her experience. That's something that that's something that a rookie would make a mistake on. Rosa, Thunder Rosa is not gonna make those kind of mistakes. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people you hear them, they say things about women wrestling. Oh, well, they do this, they do that. I'll tell you one thing, these two women right here, some of the blows I just watched, I wouldn't want them, okay? And I, and I challenge any tough guy to step in the ring and try to take that. At this point, we're not looking, we're not looking at men wrestlers, we're not looking at women wrestlers, we're looking at wrestlers. It's we're looking exactly at competitors right now. I guarantee you that's sting anybody. The third corner, she slams her in. Breaks Thunder Rosa off the back of Miranda Gordy, who, as you saw, powered up from that sleeper hole. Miranda into the corner now. Back again, and Thunder Rosa takes out the referee. We've got a bad situation here as the referee cannot do his job. Miranda Gordy is now out here on the floor near us as Thunder Rosa and the referee are both down in the ring. It's going to be the first one to get you together to get up there and maybe get the win, I hope. Well, this is a situation where normally the referee make it a 10 count here. Sure he uh, would, yeah, look out, wait a minute, oh. hold on, we have Machiko Son, is that who it, it is? Machiko oh, wow. Son with a chair to the back of Miranda Gordy. What in the world, and the referee did not see it. The referee doesn't know what's going on. He's just come to, to realize that here, she, he's just now discovered that Miranda Gordy is out at ringside, he's lost his shoe. 
now we've started the count. This is what we were saying earlier. Oh, yeah, exactly. I just want to point out, Miranda Gordy had her hand on the ropes, was ready to get back in the ring. We're, this is a turning point in the match, obviously. That's right. Yeah, she, she, she was got back in the ring. on her Easy. way. Nine, two, ten. Ten. Oh, the, the bell! Hey, gentlemen, I, I, I know you saw this. Thunder Rosa did not want to win it that way. Thunder Rosa was going to pull her into the ring to keep the match going. That's not that's not how a champion wants to win. That's not how a future champion possibly wants to lose. I don't know like you do, Tim, but I can see that woman. She wouldn't want to win like that, the kind of athlete she is and the champion she is. Well, and we don't know what's going on. We don't know with, with Machinko. We don't know what that was all about. What does Brent McKenzie want? What does this have to do with what we just saw? What do you want? Nobody cares. I have been a part of this company since its inception. What? Who cares? That's true. I punched an old man in the face that deserved it. What? Ooh, is he talking about James Beard? And that old man's name is James Beard. Yes. Don't tell him I guess that. James Beard. And because I punched that old man who deserved it in the mouth, I got suspended for six months. Oh, no, no, let me finish, morons. I was suspended for six months in competition for championship gold. And I'm looking at the champion right there in the commentary booth. He's gonna whoop you! And I want you to know something, Tim. That suspension's coming up. And so is your title reign. Now, James, it's been a little longer than six months, and I've been serving this suspension faithfully. Now, I want you to come out here with your inept management and explain to me why I have not been placed in an SWE Fury heavyweight title match. Look at the record, morons. I have not been defeated in this company. No one deserves a title shot more than me. James, I'm glad that you weren't so cowardly as to hide in the back, but you came out here and I appreciate that. Looking at me face to face, man to man. And I appreciate that about you, James. But I want you to answer me one question. You know that my suspension is up. I've served my time. Why am I not in an SWE Fury Heavyweight because Championship you match. You suck. If you'll shut up just a minute, I'll tell you why. James Beard. Wow. I've always faced you man to man, one way or the other. One time I got sucker punched. So let, let this old man tell you a thing or two. SWE's come a long way in a short time. We're all over TV, all over the nation. I've been wearing a lot of hats, been doing a lot of different things, all of us have. All the guys in management have been doing a lot of different things. So I've got some good news for you, Brett. I've got some really good news for you. You're out of here. I'm not the guy you got to deal with anymore. What? what? You don't have to deal with me anymore, Brett. So I'm out of your way. What we've done is we've gone out and found a guy who's used to taking care of problems like this. Wait a minute, what? We found a guy with experience at the upper levels of this business 
that has a background just like myself. He started out as a referee. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. Worked his way up. Speaking about. Now he's one of the most respected guys in his business. And now he's the new general manager what? of SWE Fury. And so if you'll just let me do this, I'll introduce you to our new general manager, Mr. Teddy Long. You gotta be kidding me! The new GM is none other than Teddy Long! What a great idea, Teddy Long. There he is! He's really here! I know one thing, total respect for this man right here. Everyone has total respect for him. Look at that face mask, it says Leia! Wow! <laughs> Let's get down to business. Now, James, uh, we talked about this man here in the back, and I think he was suspended because he had COVID or, COVID or whatever that thing going around, that corona. Did he have that? Okay. I suggest you put your mask back on, too, because you yeah. Now, let me make myself clear to you, player. Now, I've been watching SWE, been watching it, I know what's going on, and I know what your role is. So what's gonna happen to you is you're gonna do it my way. Yeah. His way? And to make sure that you do it my way, I brought somebody here that's gonna enforce my rules and regulations. Don't get too close to me, player. I told Man, you, six feet. Yeah, six feet. Six feet. Oh, okay. he's brought Let an enforcer? Let me bring out the enforcer that I brought here to SWE. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Road Warrior Animal! You gotta be kidding me! What? No way! If you're going to enforce the rules, that's one way to get it done, Lyndon. You got anything you want to say before you are escorted from the ring? You got anything? That microphone. Oh, hey. Hey. Stay back. You stay back. Stay back. I've never seen Brent McKenzie I've got coward. I've all the respect in the world for you, big man. I've seen all your matches. I know how tough you are. I'm not going to tangle with you. But Teddy Long? You get in my way, you'll get exactly what James Beard got. Oh, and that's punched right in the damn mouth. I don't think so. Playa. <laughs> hey, now you listen up. Yeah. All good you see, you. there's a new sheriff in town. His name is Teddy Long. And I'm his muscle whether you like it or not. So you get out of line, I didn't get these Hall of Fame rings by nothing. I knocked out Hall of Famers. You'll be next. So you stay in line. SWE Fury, take heed. There's an enforcer in town and a new sheriff. Oh, what a rush. Wow. And before you talk about dealing with me, you're going to have to go through the enforcer, player. How about that? Yeah. That's all we got to say. All right, you can step out. Everybody, SWE, can I get a holla, holla, holla? Dexter Hardaway right. versus Action Jackson on the way on the other side of this break. We'll be right back here on SWE Fury. Accompanied to the ring by Nigel Rabbit, we have Dexter Hardaway here versus Sebastian Envy. I know Dexter Hardaway is a great wrestler. He'll start just now fast and furious, brother. That's right, going out already for a body slam, and down goes Sebastian Envy. 
Off the ropes now, here comes Dexter Hardaway, big knee across the chest. One. Pan of only two there, Len Denton, as we've seen Dexter Hardaway since the very beginning of SWE Fury. You know, I, I think, well, look at here, here we there go. Right go. Right Always a factor is Nigel go, Rabbit. Seems like always behind the referee's back, Nigel Rabbit ready to go. Nigel Rabbit's always ready to choke somebody, you know. And Dexter, for some reason, he must, just this this must be a threat because he's all over him right from the start of the match. Like, like he's going to have to get something done quick. Oh, what a need to face. As Nigel Rabbit enjoys this, maybe a little too much on the outside, going for a pin. One, two. Did he just say that was the highest he's ever seen the referee count? I think so. Kendo stick, is there any reason for that? Well, you know, it used to be that cricket bat which got destroyed a while back at a show at the Point Gin. It's gone now as Sebastian Envy fights back out of that. Four under the face, two, three, four of those five. I lost count there, it was so fast. Irish whip reverse now. And a knee to the gut for his trouble. Well done, Dexter. Well done, Dexter. Irish whip off, sunset flip down, no rolls through. That was a counter. I'm not sure what you call that. A mushroom? Looks like that out just to start with. A mushroom, maybe? I don't know. Nightmare over now, stretching. Getting his people behind him. They like him, huh? That's right. Doesn't it seem over the course of time as we've grown as a company that the level of talent has just increased and increased and gotten so much better? The, the stars of SWE Fury. So much stronger, you know? Off the ropes. Wow! Hey, you're right about that. You know, I've seen a lot of things. Even up in the Northwest, up in Oregon, Washington, all over. I'm down the East Coast, West Coast. Some of the greatest talents right here, Bob. Some of the best talent in the country. And you know, after how long these these guys had to stay home and and good grief, and, and not be able to do what they love to get out here and fight, they've had to stay home all this time. It's like they've come back with more of a vengeance as Dexter reverse a big forearm to the face of Sebastian Envy now. We got this. Well, I'll tell you the truth. They, neither, none of the wrestlers I've seen tonight seem any a little rusty at all. They're all right at the top of their game, just going at it like they, they never left. These wrestlers have had time to train, to condition, to get ready to get back in the ring. I don't think there was a single one of them that just sat and waited. I believe that every single one of them was ready. And now, right, here's that kendo stick again. With the distraction again, the kendo stick is a factor. I like to call it good grief, the Nigel Rabbit Factor. Rules him over, pan one, two, and three. That is it. And the winner of this bout via pinfall. Hashtag. Never seen a move Dexter like that, but that was a great move. Hold away. So what would you call that move, Bob? Would you call that? The kendo stick, head buster, I don't understand because it definitely wasn't legal. That kendo stick, definitely not legal, but always seems to be a factor, as does Nigel Rabbit in this win for Dexter Hardaway over Sebastian Envy. We'll be back with more SWE Fury in just a moment. And just around the corner, Grappler's Garage. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now for the legend, the Grappler, and Grappler's Garage, presented by the Cambria Hotel in Plano, Texas. Welcome to Grappler's Garage. You know something? At Grappler's Garage, we diagnose the problem and we fix the problem. And you know, there's a lot of problems, 
around this wrestling area with all these wrestlers. And Mr. Plunk, sometimes uh, hey, hey, you're hey, hey, the pro It's pronounced Plunk-A. First problem corrected. Good job. Okay. Plunk-A. Okay. It's classy. Okay, plunk -A. You know, I know, notice you caused a lot of problems with that wine and that, that glass you've got there. And so, you know, I don't know. Tell me what's going on, man. So, if we're going to address the situation, I would like to address Mr. Apocalypse, Adam Asher, right now. If he's here, I think I saw him okay, earlier. Okay. He's here. He's, come to the garage. Come on. Oh. Come on in the garage, Adam. Listen. Oh. Back off, big man. Listen here, APOC. Whoa. Uh, Only my friends call me APOC. You can call me Mr. Asher. Well, Adam, I want to make it clear that I can beat you anywhere, anytime, under any stipulation. You smashed a wine bottle in my face. Let me be very, let me clear the air on that real quick. Just, just real quick. That was the mastermind plan of Nigel Rabbit. Not Niles Plunkett. Eh? I don't need a bottle to beat you. Excuse me, what was my idea? Oh, I was just telling about your mastermind plan about breaking fine vintage bottles on people's skulls. I don't need that, Nigel. That wasn't me. That was a wild stallion running against my wishes. But you're the one that claims to be the mastermind of this group, right? <clears throat> Let me tell you, Niles Plonquet doesn't need a mastermind to beat Adam Asher Apoc. I can do it anytime I want, and I certainly don't need you. Cheers. I guess I'll see you next week on Grandpa's Garage, and we can solve this problem out. Coming up next, it's our main event presented by Byline Surveying. We're back with our main event next here on SWE Fury. The following contest is tonight's main event and is for the SWE Tag Team Championships. Scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing to the ring first. From Paradise City, California, the youth gone wild, Bam Bam Malone! And his partner, from New Orleans, Louisiana, he is the stone that doesn't crumble, Adrian Stone! And their opponents, being accompanied to the ring by Nigel Rabbit of the Rabbit Empire. From Death Valley, they are your SWE Tag Team Champions, the team of Jacobs Pliskin and Rodney Mack, Perfect Enemy! Our byline surveying main event tonight here is a tag team battle between the fairly new tag team of Bam Bam Malone and Edge Stone up against Perfect Enemy. We're joined by James Beard. James, what we saw earlier tonight, the introduction of the new SWE Fury general manager, Teddy Long. How did you get him here? Well, you know, SWE is gaining a name nationally really fast right now. and, and uh, you know, the word's out. They, they know what we're, what we're doing here in SWE Fury, and, and uh, Teddy wants to be a part of it, and we're happy to have him, I'll tell you that. And then his enforcer, Hawk Animal, was here. Animal was here. A little bit of backup, didn't he? Well, you know, uh, if you're going to if you're gonna carry that stick, man. <laughs> that was Ben McKenzie. Yeah, I'll tell you what. You can't ask for a better backup than, than Animal. I'm telling he's, you, he's, buddy. He's the real deal. I'm telling you. Of course, I, I made the mistake of calling him Hawk a little bit ago. It's Animal is the uh, the enforcer here, and I've never seen Brent McKenzie back up like he did before when Animal walked into the ring. Well, wouldn't you? Yeah, Absolutely. I was like, I explained to him. I said, hey, listen, 
Don't sell Brett McKenzie short. He's one double tough individual. Guarantee you. I would never want to deal with him. Even when I was in my prime, okay? But I'll tell you one thing. He don't want to mess with animal. No, 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 no. You know, Brett's a bad guy, but he's also a pretty smart guy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. A promising new tag team here in SWE Fury, Edge Stone, Bam Bam Malone. They look great in the ring together and they're holding their own against our champs. That's a couple of big boys right there. Big clothesline. Man, you got some beef in that ring right I'm now. You. Huge body slam. Jake Spaxson in the corner, doesn't know what hit him. And what he just got hit with was Edge Stone and a big body slam right in the middle of that ring. He's a big guy. He's a big fella, man. Yeah. Now, I don't know a lot about him. He's a young guy, but uh, he's put together pretty well. Well, I know one thing. He's in the ring with a veteran right now, Rodney Mack. And that boy, uh, he can hurt you quick. Yeah, you talk about tough guys. Double turn. Yeah. <laughs> Not a good corner to be in for Edge Stone. It's a DDT. Ouch. Maybe the end of it. Rodney Mack going for the cover. One, two. Out pops Stone, now he goes to working on that shoulder. A lot of these guys, you know, remind me, me and Tony, El Grappler number two. You guys work as a team, you watch them. You, you can know, tell. That's why they got those titles. Man. You can tell the difference between a couple of guys thrown together and a tag team. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, James. You know all about that. Let me ask you this, where does this put you now with Teddy Long in here handling these affairs for SWE Fury? Where does this put you in the company? What will you be doing now? It, it takes a lot of pressure off of me, I can tell you that right now. Well, actually, I'm really busy trying to find new talent and, and signing talent and, and signing matches. And if we do that, we do that together, Teddy will be a part of that also. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be plenty busy to doing all of that and, 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 and trying to keep the, the talent flow here in, in SWE Fury. Uh, going and, and going straight up. Awesome. Jacob says. I think what he should do is like go ahead and, I mean, you do the great announcing job, then you turn over the dress room and let you control the guys. Really, I don't think that's a good idea, Lyndon, at all. I, I You're one of the smartest guys I know. I think we need to uh, leave that to folks like Animal who, uh, yeah, the, these little fellas, sure. Uh-oh. Up, oh, fireman's carrying down. Oh, that ring just came off the ground. That's a stout boy right there now. Bam Bam in the corner trying to rally Edge to get over to the corner. Stone struggling to get up. Jake is struggling to get up. The referee counting. Stone getting to his knees before Jacobs. Jacobs makes the tag. Stone with the tag now. Bam Bam. Backing Rodney Mack into the ropes. Here we go, Irish whip. Mack bouncing off the ropes. Nope. Oh, uh, he, he, he telegraphed that one. Yep. Got that DDT in there. Uh oh, wait a minute. Rodney Mack moved out of the way and Stone landed on top of Bam Bam. Oh, good grief. Clothesline removed him from his shoes just about. That leaves him in there alone. The clothesline shook the announcer table, man. Here we go. Double teaming here. That might be it. Oh, good grief. One, two, three. It is over. What, what did he say, Lynn? Perfect, Perfect no enemy! I think they've got I, their own language. This. I, okay. Good grief. Intensity. SWE Fury presented by Texas Association of Shotokan Karate in Plano. Thank you so much for tuning in. More great wrestling action back next week right here.